My name's Julie Ryder and I've been working as a, a craft artist, a textile designer for just over 30 years. If I had to describe my work in three words, I would say nature, science and research. My exhibition work is heavily based on research I've done through arts residencies. Um, they provide a great source of inspiration for my work. So for example, in 2016, I had an, ex um, an arts residency at the National Museum of Australia. And so I became completely engrossed in 19th century women botanical collectors and seaweed. Um, over COVID, because we couldn't move around too much, I explored my local nature parks. I have a really good microscope that I um, use a lot just to inform me about how things are working and um, their life cycle and what makes makes them them. Um, and I'll either use nature as a material, so for example some pollen works over there on the wall, or um, I use uh, poppy seed heads or things like that, or thorns um, as actual material to make work. Or I can use those botanical materials to boil up and make dyes. If I don't have an exhibition on the go, um, which can sometimes take up to about two years to make the work for, I'll make and print um, things like tea towels and um, dye socks and all of that for uh, designer markets and uh, for Craft ACT shop and some other retail outlets that my work's in. So that keeps me busy. Challenges of being an artist are, number one, you have to be really self-motivated. You really have to steer your own course and make decisions that sometimes are hard to do, um, but you're, as a sole trader, you're the only one that, that is doing that. I think the other challenges are fitting in admin and all, all of that, because that takes you away from actually making work sometimes. Um, and of course, financial. During COVID, which was a horrible time for a lot of people, um, wasn't so bad for me in a way because I had already built my studio so I could be at home and not have to worry about a lockdown, not being able to go out to a studio, say at Piala Go. I'd already got funding to get equipment that I needed and to build the print table. So in that way, I was extremely lucky and I felt so fortunate that I was in that position. However, physically, I had a bit of a rough trot. I um, fractured my wrist, I cracked a few ribs. And um, so physically, even though I had everything ready to go, I was actually held back. So I thought, look on the bright side, what can I do? I could walk, I could gather natural materials. And as part of a rehabilitation, I started to learn how to um, make string and twine from things like dandelion stems and cleavers and all sorts of natural things just to get my hands working so that when the cast came off I'd be kind of straight back into it. What I love most of all about being an artist is I get into some really interesting places like cultural in institutions or botanical herbaria that not other people can get into through my residencies. 
And what I really love is being able to interpret those collections and then make them visible for people who can't access those collections to reinterpret research and objects and then make them into a cohesive body of work.